Today we're going to learn about the English bond. But first I want to show you one of these tools that we use. It's very common in, in masonry work. It's called a pair of brick tongs. Very simple operating tool. It's got a fixed lever, movable lever, and it literally just operates by friction. When you pull the handle up, it squeezes it together, and you can pick up a stack of bricks and move them. Quite an efficient tool for moving a lot of bricks. So the English bond, hence the name, came from England. Pretty obvious there. Uh, so like most of our craft trades, we learned them from the Western Europeans and specifically the English when they came over and settled. They sent, later in settlements, they would send masons and craftsmen and carpenters and people with them because you needed to be able to build things. So the English bond is extremely common in the, in the country of England, but it's not so common here. They took that idea later and modified it to their own version. But the English bond here is gonna start, we're gonna start locking um, different Ys or different walls and start interlocking to, to make a composite wall and to get away from a veneer wall. So the English bond is gonna be a combination of, all, of stretchers and headers. As you can see here, we have two different Ys, the front one and the back one. And you notice I have a space here. The space is for when I go to lay in my next course, which is gonna be headers, the outside here should flush and the outside here should flush. So that you make a wall that can stand on its own and be finished from both sides. So the English bond is pretty straightforward. Just a combination of headers and stretchers. So my first course starts with stretchers and I'm starting my second course now with headers. Now, if you notice the center line of this brick matches the center of this head, of this head joint. The center line of this brick matches the center line of the brick underneath it. So you've got to alternate out so that you cross over the, the, um, the head joints with center lines of bricks. So we've got a course of stretchers, course of headers. We'll go back now with a course of stretchers. Trying to make sure we line up where our first course and the third course line each other. We're going to do two Y's. Then we're going to finish this up with another course of header brick. This is the English bond. Course of stretchers, course of headers, course of stretchers, course of headers. And it would continue this all the way up through the wall.